YouTube! What's going on? It's your boy T. Back at it again with another episode of Talking With T. Let's get into it. Let's get after it, man. Welcome back. Hit that like button if you're new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for me. I appreciate you for tuning in to today's video. So without further ado, let's get right into it, man. This one's going to be a good one. So back in high school, one of the most influential football coaches I ever had, Coach Warner, I don't know if he's watching it. Shout out to you, man. He gave us these bracelets called, these team bracelets, man. Not deep bracelets, but these team bracelets. On the bracelet, it said E plus R equals O. You may be thinking that's an algebra equation. You might be thinking that has something to do with football. No, it's an equation about life. And I really believe all successful people have this equation embedded in their head. Event plus response equals outcome. How you respond to any event is going to equal that outcome. So if you have a ton of problems and you're just letting them pile up, pile up, pile up, and you're gonna, you're just going to sit there and wonder why your life's not going the way you want it because you're not doing anything to attack the problems that's going to lead you to your dreams and to your goals. These problems that are preventing you from getting to where you want to be are actually good problems because you need to attack them because that's what's going to teach you because sometimes you need to learn things to get to where you want to go. You don't know it all, bro, so stop acting like you know it all. Be humble. Start... I love learning. I love learning more about myself. That's what I do every single day. That's what's a part of the self-improvement journey. Attacking your flaws. Figuring out what you got to do to get better. Not sitting there crying about it. Not sitting there saying, oh, I don't have this. Learn it. Read about it. Figure out what you got to do to attack it. What's not okay is sitting there for five minutes or dwelling on a problem for five days in a row and not doing anything about it, man. Give yourself five minutes to dwell on it, and then let's figure out what an, uh, a way to attack it. Last night, this is just a minor problem, a good problem to have, because I have a pair of shoes. <laughs> I, I'm a bartender, and I was bartending last night. Obviously, I'm, I'm, I like to look good, so I wear my new white shoes, bro. I spilled grenadine on them, got them all dirty, red marks. I'm like, oh my God, is this even going to come out? Was all upset about it, thinking of how stupid I am to wear white shoes. Instead, I took the club soda, got a rag, and started dabbing my shoes. Now they look brand new, like nothing even happened. There's no red marks on them at all. I solved that problem instead of dwelling on it, instead of going to spend another $150 on another pair of shoes. No, I took care of the problem. That's just a small problem. That's just a small example. But I didn't sit there and dwell on it and didn't let the the redness soak in i took i took action right then and there of course i was upset about it. of course i was kind of mad but it's okay to be mad as long as you're taking action what's not okay is just sitting there complaining about it not taking any action at all and hoping somebody's coming to save you but here's a hundred percent truth bro lady whoever's wise to this video no one's coming to help you the only person that's coming to help you is you you have to figure out what you got to do to attack it. Yeah, you can ask for help. Someone will be willing to ask you, but no one's coming to solve your problem for you. That's what you need to realize. Once you can start embedding this equation in your head, E plus R equals O, then you'll be successful. Because you got to respond to situations that you don't always want to respond to. Life's not, life gets wicked out here. Your mom could die. Your dad could die. Your mom, your mom and dad could get, or your mom could get cancer. What are you going to do? Are you going to respond to it? Are you going to let, let that situation pile up? Or are you going to be a strong and keep being strong for her? These are all like, like I wasn't trying to get all serious right there and sentimental, but I'm just saying, man, how are you going to respond in situations where there's a big problem? That's why you need to attack these small problems because when you attack these small problems, you're building an arsenal on how to attack the big problems. And that's what separates successful people from non-successful people. Being able to solve big problems. Being able to solve problems that are preventing them from getting to their dreams, their goals, whatever they want to accomplish. My version of success is completely different from your version of success. So start solving these minor problems so you can learn and grow and figure out how you, so you can learn and grow your arsenal so you can figure out how to attack these big problems down the road. It's your boy T signing out. I'll see you in the next video.